Well, hello there, everybody. This is Josh from WhaleStream. Um, today, we're gonna be going over the advanced filters that we have available. Basically, you can pile on filters um, to get extremely granular with the way that you're viewing your feed. Um, really hyper-focus on, you know, the, the parameters that meet your trading needs. So, as always, this right side is the real-time option flow. Left side is your dark pools and equity prints. Um, so to get to your advanced filters, you're just going to click this button over here. Um, and it'll open up. And as, as I went over in the last video with the quick filters, same thing up here. You could filter by multiple tickers. So let's say you wanted to do AMD. Click AMD, boom, and it adds it right here. And you can see it filtered to AMD. Let's say you want to throw in some Apple, boom. And let's say you want to throw in Wish, eek. And let's see what else. Um, let's throw in Neo, just for fun. Okay, so now you have all those applied. You come over here, you should see just those tickers, which is what we're seeing. Um, <clears throat> And now let's say, let's clear these out. And let's say you just wanted to filter by sectors, but you wanted to see a few sectors. So let's say you wanted tech and let's say you wanted energy. So as you can see, and it filters to both sides, just like these filters up here. Um, you see energy, you see tech, you see energy, you see tech. Um, and you see how many filters you have applied right there, the two, because you're filtering by two different sectors. Um, and let's say on the dark pools, you, you don't want to see anything under, uh, let's say you want to see a million. So boom, now this dark pool side, you just set your minimum uh, value at a million dollars, which means it will not show any trades under a million dollars. So if you wanted to focus on those higher premiums and you could also filter to just dark pool because this does also show some public uh, exchanges as well or you could filter to just public exchanges so as you see now we have the public orders um, and then signature prints i have sectors um, on here Sin signature prints are only going to be on etfs so and on specific ETFs, but we'll have another video that goes over what signature prints are, if you're not familiar. Um, <clears throat> now, those are the filters that we have available for the dark pool side. Now, moving over to the real-time option flow, again, you could set your minimum. I, I like to toggle this on and off, but I like to see stuff over 100,000. Um, I think the bigger, the bigger, orders i don't necessarily set a max because why would you limit i mean we're here to see the whale orders if something comes in at 10 million i'm not going to filter it out um so <clears throat> you could filter have a minimum or a maximum if you wanted um <clears throat> you could turn on the sales flow which shows you the orders filled at the bid or below um you could toggle on opening orders which is another one that i like that's when the actual order size so this is 1214 contracts is greater than the open interest which means that new contracts actually had to be written or created in order to fill that order um and obviously anytime there's an opening order you're going to have higher day volume than open interest because if that one order alone was greater than the open interest, then the day's volume is going to be greater as well. Um, <clears throat> now, if you wanted to focus on just highlighted flow, let's say golden sweeps. Um, so you got one for snap. I think there's some other, we do not have other filters. Okay, so um, we have one for snap that came in, 1.2 million golden sweep. Um, if you wanted to filter to all the highlighted flow, so not just golden sweeps, but um, it'll include golden sweeps, but also just bullish and bearish flow in general, over a million dollars in premium. You toggle that on and it shows you all of it. Um, obviously, it's still filtering to this minimum 100,000, which is not really that relevant to what we're focused on because 
these are all going to be over a million so this won't really have any effect on that um, then if you wanted to see aggressive so there's none over a million that were also aggressive but um, if you wanted to see the aggressive orders or if you wanted to see aggressive opening orders um, you could toggle that on and you'll see aggressive and you'll see the opening and <clears throat> a lot of a lot of the time when those two are both on there it will also be unusual and sometimes it'll also be flagged as highly unusual which um, has played out really well if you, if, uh, if you look into it. Don't, obviously don't ever blindly follow the whales, but a lot of the highly unusuals um, have, have had really good uh, results in the past. Um, <clears throat> so th those are actually, highly unusual is my favorite indicator that we have on here. Um, then, speaking of the highly unusuals, obviously you could also toggle to the day's volume is greater than open interest, you could focus on just in the money positions. If you toggle on aggressive with that, it won't show you anything because aggressive includes out of the money by seven and a half percent. So boom, you see that. But um, if you wanted to see the in the money positions. Uh, so now you could either toggle by unusual orders, which will be um, just unusual over here. And then if you wanted to see highly unusual, it'll toggle off that and it'll just focus on the highly unusuals. But if you wanted to focus on both, you toggle that guy on and it'll show you both the highly unusuals and unusuals together. Um, again, highly unusual is my favorite. Um, and then we also have pre and post earnings. So if an order came in before their earnings, the, the trading day before earnings. So um, this might have been earnings on Friday, today is Saturday, so there's no market activity today, um, or it's or it's gonna be on Monday. Um, and then we also have post earnings, so things that came in after earnings, maybe it was in the morning, or maybe it was after hours the day prior. Um, it'll have the little post symbol, and we could filter by that. And then you could also filter by both. So um, pre and post, it'll show it all. Um, these have played out really well as well when there's significant premium. Obviously, still, I would not blindly follow the whales. Always do your own due diligence. Um, and then you could filter by order type. So if you want to sweeps and splits and not really focus on blocks and maybe maybe throw in, well, we have the 100,000 applied, uh, maybe throw in aggressive. And so we have the aggressive sweeps and splits. And over a hundred thousand and you see there's quite a bit of unusuals and highly unusuals and obviously the more you throw on here the less will show up because it's all piling together so it needs to meet more parameters but that was just a quick dive into our advanced filters i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to uh to comment like subscribe and check back for new videos and if you haven't already signed up for WhaleStream, we do have a seven day trial going. So be sure to sign up and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks.